Okay, so I want to show you guys how to edit your photos in Photoshop. Um, so right here I've got an example that was taken. There's, It's a, not perfectly straight, it's kind of crooked. Um, so this is what we're going to do to make it look better. So I'm going to double click on background. You can rename this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it layer zero and then hit OK. By changing this, it unlocks the background so we can now edit and work on this picture. Okay, So if I want to straighten this out, what I'm going to do is go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. And then I want to go to View and Show Grid. So you can also press Control and the comma, and that will toggle it. That's just a keyboard shortcut that you can use. Um, okay, so I'm going to kind of use this grid to drag my picture here and get it nice and even. And sometimes this takes a little bit of um, fiddling, just moving things back and forth until it starts to look pretty good. And make sure that things are lined up along the grid completely. For as best as I can get it. Let's see here. Put it down a little more. Okay, and then I will click on the crop button here after you select OK, and then I'm going to crop this in so I'm only seeing my artwork. And hit OK. So now I've got a nice, straight, even, clearly focused, um, cropped po uh, picture of our artwork. Um, and if I want to take this one step further, I can go into Layers, New Adjustment Layer, and hit Curves. So I'm going to click on this little white button here. Um, and before you move it back and forth, what you're going to do is Click it and hold down Alt on your keyboard at the same time, and you'll see that it changes it to this kind of black, weird looking thing. Um, so you can see the more that I move this, the more that we see where the highlights are. Um, so because we have a decent amount of highlights already, I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm going to do the same thing for this side with the shadows. And this one I want to bring it until I'm just starting to see a little bit of noise. Again, if we take it too far, you can see that it's going to go really dark. So I just want to take it until I see just a little bit of noise like that. And then you can see the difference that it makes in kind of amping up the colors of that picture. Okay, so then to save this, I would just go to Save As. Um, you don't want to save it as a Photoshop file, you want to save it as a JPEG. And then you can name it whatever you want. Okay, um, I want to show you one more. With this one, this one I've got a little border that I'm going to do around it. So I'm just selecting black right here, clicking on the border to make it nice and deep. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time. So changing the background to layer or whatever you want to call it. Going to transform, perspective, um, control, comma, to pull up the grid. And this one isn't as dramatic as the last one, so we'll have a little bit less to correct. Okay, that looks pretty good. Then I'll just center it on my picture plane. Untoggle the grid and then hit enter or select the check mark. 
And then I can go back in with my paint bucket and actually fill in the rest of the space. So I just double clicked to kind of get it filled in all the way. Um, and if you kind of get some distance from it, you can see if you need to adjust anything. So I need to pull it up a tiny bit. Maybe over a little bit. Okay. And then I can also use the paintbrush if I want to fill in small areas like this. Do, do, do. Okay, and then I can do the same thing to adjust the color. So I'm going to go into curves, hold down alt, click on this little white thing. You can see with this one there's a lot less of those little red dots. So again, I just want to pull it until I see just a couple of those red specks. And I'm going to hold Alt and select the shadow side. And then pull it until I see just a little bit of noise. Right there. And then if I toggle it, you can see if you need to make any adjustments. I'm going to make the shadows just a little bit darker. That looks good. And then I want to show you one more adjustment layer that you can do if your lighting is a little bit off. So I'll go to color balance. And then you can see I can select shadows, midtones, or highlights. I'll do just the midtones here so you can kind of see how it will change things. So if I think that my um, picture is a little bit too yellow, you can pull over more towards the blue side which will help kind of cancel out some of that yellow. I might go more into the cyan category. You can see how that takes kind of that warmth or that yellowness off the page. Okay, so again, if I'm happy with how this looks, I'm going to hit Save As and save it as a JPEG. Title it whatever I want. Watercolor quality, oops, pick, yeah, okay, yep, so practice this, you'll get to learn it pretty quickly, um, and then you can do this for all your artwork to make sure that you're submitting quality photos of your work, okay, that's it, thanks for listening, okay, bye.